As we're solving systems with three variables, sometimes the problems can be get quite involved. Because sometimes to eliminate a variable, we may have to multiply one or more equations to get the opposites we need. For example, if we have this ugly looking problem, negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals negative 6, 3x minus 3y minus 2z equals negative 17, 5x minus 4y plus 5z equals 11, there's not any variable that jumps out as an easy variable to eliminate twice. So at that point, we're kind of stuck just picking a variable that we're just going to pick on for the duration of the problem. You might pick one that maybe wouldn't be difficult, would, would not be difficult to eliminate twice. For example, you might see negative 2y and negative 4y and say, yeah, I can get opposites in front of the y's pretty easily. So let's pick on y. And again, remember to help us stay organized. That's what helps us solve these. We're going to number these 1, 2, and 3. And we said the y's were going to be easy to pick on from equations 1, and 3. Equation 1 was negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals a negative 6. Equation 3 was 5x minus 4y plus 5z equals 11. And to get those opposites we want, we want to pick on the y's, we need to multiply the first equation then by negative 2. That'll give us the positive 4 to contradict the negative 4. So now we've got positive 4x, positive 4y, negative 6z equals positive 12. The second equation is still 5x minus 4y plus 5z equals 11. And we now have those opposites we wanted in front of the y. So we can add them together, giving us 9x. The y's eliminate minus z equals 23. We've got our equation A. We eliminated the y's. Well, now we have to go back and eliminate y again. And I look at the y options, and boy, there's not going to be something that's really easy. We're going to have to multiply both equations. So I could pick either pair I want. How about we go with the negative 2y and the negative 3y? We can build those up to 6 pretty quick and easy. So we're picking equations 1 and 2, it looks like. So equation 1 was negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals negative 6. Equation 2 was 3x minus 3y minus 2z equals negative 17. And remember, we have to eliminate the same variable. We have to eliminate y again. So we're going to build up to 6, it looks like. We'll multiply the first equation by 3 on both sides. That's going to give us negative 6x, negative 6y, plus 9z equals negative 18. And the second equation, we've already got negative 6y, so we want positive 6y. So we're going to multiply it by negative 2. That's going to give us negative 6x, positive 6y, positive 4z equals, same thing on both sides, positive 34. So that when we add those together, we end up with negative 12x. We got the opposites in front of y that we wanted. So those are gone, plus 13z equals 16. That's our equation B. We now have our equation A and B that we can bring together to solve. A is 9x minus z equals 23. B is negative 12x plus 13z equals 16. And again, we notice Neither one's going to necessarily be easy to solve for. So we can pick on either x or z. I think I'm going to pick on the x, because we can build them both up to 36 pretty easily. Positive 36 and negative 36. 
doesn't matter which we picked on, I'm just picking x. So if we multiply the first equation by 4 on both sides, coming over to the side here, that's 36x minus 4z equals 23 times 4 is 92. The second equation to get the 36x, we have to multiply by 3. The problem already gives us the negative. So we now have negative 36x plus 39z equals 48. We can add those together because now we've got those opposites in front of x that we wanted. So they'll subtract out, giving us 35z equals 92 plus 48, 140. Finally, divide both sides by 35, and we've got a value for z. z is 4. The first variable is always the hardest. It takes the most work to get there. But we follow the same pattern. We eliminate the same variable twice. We eliminated the y twice to get equations a and b. Then we solved a and b to find z, but we're not done with a and b. Still focusing on a and b, there's another variable in there of x, and we can find that. Ooh, it doesn't matter which equation, really. So let's take the first equation. 9x minus z, which we know is 4, equals 23. Well, if we add the 4 to both sides, that gives us 9x equals 27. And when we divide both sides by 9, we now know x is equal to 3. That solves a and b completely with our two variables. Now we can go back to one of the original equations to find the other variable, the y. And I think the smaller numbers are going to come off equation 1, although it doesn't technically matter which equation we use. Equation 1 is negative 2x, which we know is 3, minus 2y, that's what we're looking for, plus 3z, which we know is 4, equals negative 6. Simplify by multiplying. Negative 6 minus 2y plus 12 equals negative 6. Combine like terms. 6 minus 2y equals negative 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 12. Divide by negative 2. Really good at solving by this point. y is equal to 6. We finally have our three variables. The three variables that, when plugged into all three equations, will make all three equations true. As an ordered triplet in alphabetical order, x is 3, y is 6, z is 4. We have the solution to our system of equations. We eliminated the same variable twice by multiplying to get opposites.